Okay, hey, I'm Jeff Moss at the Black Hat in DC. And with me today is Dan Kaminsky. What's up, guys? And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Dan's talk and let him explain what's going on uh, since DEF CON with uh, his exploits. And maybe he might even give us a preview of what he's working on in the future. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so what did you talk about? Somebody tweeted that it was an angry presentation, but oh. I, think, I think you were just angry because I put you at 9 o'clock in the morning. And, that was you know, not intentional. <laughs> it, it, it was a 75 minute talk crammed into 50 minutes, so I may have been a little um, rapid in my explanations of a few things. Yeah, because when I sat in there, you looked just like you were frustrated with the situation, not angry. Because if you study DNS long enough, you too will get frustrated. Well, you, you had this great point earlier where you're like, you know, in 2002 we were saying we were going to fix this, in 2003 we were saying we were going to fix this, and it's just... It's 2009. Yeah, We're gonna fix this. I have to keep checking my watch to make sure <laughs> that I haven't gone back in time or something because nothing is getting fixed. We, the problem I think ultimately is that security is not the only thing that's important. Now, I'm gonna, right? it's, it's okay, Jeff. I'll breathe it's deeply. Okay. <laughs> but it, it turns out, and this is kind of sad to say, but there are other major considerations before software gets deployed, right. and scalability is a massive determinant on. Whether you know, on the left hand you have doesn't work and on the right hand you have doesn't work securely. Well, if it doesn't work securely, well, maybe no one will attack it. If it doesn't work, um, you're fired, you're out of a job, and you're not paying your mortgage. So, <laughs> one's catastrophic fail. E e exactly. And exactly. The thing I find frustrating, and you've been playing around with DNS for a long time. If you don't know, Dan has been famous for giving talks on weird tricks that you can pull off with DNS. Now, most famous for what he did last year, but he's been exploring DNS for many, many years. And fixing DNS nine, ten years ago would have been much easier than fixing it now. The deployment size is just enormous today. And by sort of punting the problem down the road, we've backed ourselves into a corner where it's pretty much DNS sec or nothing, right? Well, it's not like the internet's getting any smaller. You know, one, one thing to realize is you know, 19, the 90s were different. I mean, even in the early 2000s, it wasn't until 2003 when the worms got really bad, the attacks got really bad. You know, no company has a chief... Organized owner. crime got very sophisticated. It's true. Yeah. You know, one, one quote I have is, companies don't have chief electrical officers. It's not because electricity is not important to the operations of their company, right. but it's just, we know how to do electricity, we know how to keep the lights on, and if something goes wrong, the only guy you got to yell at is some low-ranking guy over in facilities to get the dang lights on. Right. So that's what we have for power. It's not how we have for internet security. Internet security, we have chief security officers precisely because it's even such a different problem from how you maintain the information assets of your organization. Right, from, right it's different than access control and locking the doors and tracking last lap, laptops. It's, uh, and it's constantly changing. I mean, we've talked about problems that we had a decade ago. We still have them today. Mm -hmm. And the problem just seems to get more complicated. So what do you see with the future? Do you see DNSSEC as the savior, or do you see just us muddling through for another 10 years? Well, you see, I asked a question to myself. You know, the, the big surprise, at least for me, with the DNS research, the bug was simple. I mean, it's a simple, straightforward bug, a relatively straightforward fix using the stuff that DJB suggested. Right. Which is really a band-aid. It is a band-aid. Yeah. But there's a bigger question. Why? Why was all this software affected because of a teensy little bug in DNS? Right. And it Shouldn't exposed everything. Yeah, and everything relies on it. Yeah, I mean, so one, one of the demonstrations I gave in my talk was, you know, people don't realize what a generic auth authentication bypass means. I went ahead, set up a blog, forgot my password, by which I mean forgetting my admin password, had it email me, by which I mean emailing my attack server, right. and uh, it gave me access to, my, to the administrative account. And I went into the blog, posted some PHP, here I am, code execution on a web server, right. and I didn't have any leak SQL injection, I didn't have any crazy buffer overflows, it sent me a generic authentication token. Right. And this exact attack worked against pretty much all of the Very top well, 10 How would it not work? work? I mean, it's, that's really the question, right? The, the average website says either you have the password or we'll send you an email, right. which exactly. depends on DNS. Yeah. 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 And well, so, so yeah, exactly. I think we have been missing yeah. a core yeah. element of what we need to actually have secure, scalable systems. You know, DNS scales, and 
that fact is just... Well, and that's pretty much what killed PKI. DNS kept scaling properly. PKI has just sort of failed because it doesn't handle. It doesn't delegate. It yeah. doesn't delegate. Every time I need a new certificate, every time I create a new server, right. I got to go back. I got to go to the guy in the sky. I got to hand him money. But who checks your out? I mean, Nobody, because yeah. it doesn't scale. Yeah. Because you've got a guy in the sky, and if he goes down, what? Every single sure. SSL site goes down? No. Exactly. And that's the problem we saw with some early DRM servers. I mean, one person has a server interruption, and all your paying customers can't all of a sudden watch their videos. Uh, that's not a viable business model. You know, the scalability matters, and it matters. You know, like I said, if you, you can have it doesn't work, it doesn't work securely, people will rather just... Right, because there is no third option. It yeah. doesn't work, I mean, works securely. I mean, we just don't have that option. Right? Well, so that's what I think we can do with DNS. I think DNS, on its fundamental level, lets you, you know, we have reasonable amounts of security on what gets into DNS, and we don't have those levels of security on what comes back out. Right. DNS gives us that level of assurance that when you get data out of right. DNS, it's secure, but it does so still in a fully delegated, fully scalable right. manner. Right. And the thing is, that's what it can do by protocol. Right. We have a lot of work that we have to do with Bind because it is the ecosystem leader. Right. We have to make Bind automatic. These deployment guides that tell people you're going to do DNSSEC and you're going to do all this work every, every five, five days. days. Yeah, exactly. If you screw it up, the yeah. network goes down. Yeah. No. Oh, no pressure. It's no. just the infrastructure. But you, you, you got to do it because of security. Yeah. And the admins look at you and be like, that's nice. I'm going to screw up. I'm going to lose my job. My kids aren't going to eat. And they won't do it. Right. So we're, if we're. Or they'll make stupid shortcuts. So we have to front load the engineering effort. Right. Of so, doing this to make DNS so then, scale. So then, what do you think of the Microsoft's in Windows Seven trying to implement portions of DNS set? I think it is a wonderful sign Just that step the, along the way. We're going to have another platform that has this implemented in a corporate sense. Yep. But it really, my focus is on how do we get the ecosystem leader in DNS serving right. yeah. to actually. So Windows meet. will do what Windows is going to do. Let's focus on buying. It's it's where the numbers are. Yeah. And, and that's that's actually that's what we're going to have to do. So it's been uh, ten years since the DNSSEC RFC has been ratified. Basically, what do you think? Another five years? <laughs> I don't think it'll take that long. I mean, my my hope is really so. I'm a strong believer in market forces. Yeah. I'm a strong believer that when you build a system that solves problems that have just fundamentally not been solved before, it will get adopters because there's always someone out there who has the immediate need, and that will drive down the costs well, as, as solutions become more Immediate real. exposure didn't hurt. I mean, <laughs> the amount of attention and spotlight that was forced on this problem, it went from being theoretical to practical. And as soon as that happened, it really seemed to accelerate things. You well, know. well, there are- .gov signed their route pretty quick. And it's, so there have been some guys in .gov who have been, you know, carrying this flag for years. I mean, I'm really new to this whole DNSSEC thing, right? Like,